All right, welcome back to oh, Resident Evil Zero, everybody. I uh, hope you enjoyed part one. Uh, we'll be carrying on with these. Uh, and these will probably be daily uploads. Um, that's the plan. No, 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 no. We want to leave these here. And pick up this. Don't pick up the ink ribbon. You fucker! Ah, don't worry! <laughs> this is tight rare! Right. This is not good when you're trying to keep parts in 30 minute chunks. Thank you. <laughs> Shit like this starts happening. Okay, let's leave. Um, Because we are going to... That was my big thing when I, when I finished the last part. Was like, don't forget to pick up, you know, this thing. Because you're going to need it. You know? Uh, oh, wow. He just let us bump right past him. Great. That I can get behind. Uh, right, how do you do this? Oh, I did it, I did it, I did it. Anthony would be proud. Speedrun strats there on how you dodge the zombies. It's much easier in the remake of the first game. The movement's slightly different. And I believe the zombie behavior is slightly different in this one too. Where do we go around here? All controls feel different as well. Now we're gonna pass that to Miss Chambers. And we're good. Nice. Uh, there we go. The doorknob is unstuck now. Oh yeah, I forgot the zombies up here now. We don't ever have to go back up there again, though, so that doesn't matter. We can make some progress. Oh shit! No, this button, right? This way. Roger. That's the one. Uh. There. Enter the crawl space. What the fuck? There. Do, 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 do. Take that. Yeah, fuck it. And then I believe we're going to have to switch to uh, Rebecca. Now to get everybody's favorite item in this video game. Yeah, Belly, you go. There is a good old hoop shot. We don't need to read the operations manual, we know what to do. Come on. Okay. Uh, let's actually Yeah. Did it? Okay, that's fine. Ooh. Ooh. This actually doesn't look good. Inventory management wise. 
Actually, yeah, that'll, that'll do us just now. I think it's probably going to be best not to have Rebecca, you know, have one of them have the handgun, one of them have the shotgun. And I believe Billy's handgun is stronger, so... Uh, maybe better giving Rebecca the shotgun. And then it gets even more fucky when you end up with a grenade launcher as well. He's not dead. Sit down, son. No, you actually have to die. Thank you. Oh shit, no, no. Move, Rebecca. <sighs> Fuck. Um, <coughs> this kind of sucks. I'll go. I'll go. Yeah. Yeah. What? What? Let's go. Yeah. I'll keep fucking up my buttons here. Okay. Go to the second floor and then we can dump the hook shot up here because we don't need it again on the train. Um Well we're not up here, I mean when we drop back down. So interestingly enough it was actually um Catastrophe on Twitter who's flu you don't know who's Capcom's community manager. Um She was a Twitch streamer. Uh, well, she still is. She still does. Um, I think she was a speedrunner, actually. Um, uh, wait, did I have to kill you? Oh, no, wait. I need the knife, right? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Um, but, um, yeah, she was a speedrunner. And she got the job to be Capcom's community manager, and she tweeted, Are you fucking serious? Yeah, now you're dead, right? Oh, and I didn't need to pick up the knife. Okay. It was just I needed that guy dead for some reason. But she tweeted asking what everybody's, you know, theories might be about certain things in the game and if anybody, you know, had questions on them and what that kind of thing. And I, I tweeted back saying, I just want to know what happened to Billy. Like, what happened to Billy? That's all I want to know. I should go back saying that's, you know, one of those open-ended things for you to kind of, at the moment... You know, there's no canon for what happened to Billy going forward, so right now that's kind of up to you to make up your own mind, unless obviously anything changes in future games. So that's good, because obviously people were like, "Oh, I, I, th I think Billy's dead. You know, he died in the forest and blah blah blah." And I'm just like, "Wait, what? No, Billy can't be dead." You know, so it's cool to have that confirmed. You know, I mean, I guess it was always speculation, but you know what I mean, right? Basically, what I'm seeing is it confirms hope for more of Billy. That's all I'm seeing. All right, okay, you can exchange to you. I'm actually going to exchange some handgun ammo back over to Rebecca. Oh, the menu is taking a bit of getting used to. There, how's that? That look a bit better. Actually, it doesn't give me that. Rebecca, you're not looking too great. Press the wrong button again. I actually pressed triangle twice there before Becky reacted. Or before the game reacted to switch me to Becky, is what I meant to say. 
I'm going to take that because I'm going to... Oh, I should have just used it, actually. Forgot you can do that in this game. Which is so useful. There's nothing worse than being desperate to use a, a herb in these games and not having a slot for it. And the game's just like, nah, nah. And then you're like, but I just want to use it. <laughs> just just use it. You don't need to do it in your inventory. So it was, it was great that this game actually Let's go. gave that option to you. It's actually very... You know, it feels like such a big overlook or a big oversight as well, right? But it was probably a conscious decision, I would think, in earlier games. Alright. I did drop... Yeah, I did. Otherwise, Billy wouldn't have any space. Uh, oh yeah. Definitely want to do this, actually. Combine it with that. Yeah. Now we're talking. I can't remember if I mentioned in the last video, but I've actually been reading the novel for this. Ooh, which is good fun. Which is good fun. Off the train at that now and into the training facility, which is... Fun. Oh. And voila. Took a blue key card. Express station Jimmy Lewis. Ah. E car just sell uh, it's a lead car. Okay, nothing else to say about it. And there's a cartridge here, looks like it has a uh, car. Oh, I actually have to do this one through my inventory. It's not like a regular key. Alright. Door is now unlocked. We don't need this card anymore. Throw it away. Oh, I'm going to have to be putting my memory to the test right now. This is Delta Team. This is Delta Team. We have gained control of the train. Over. Understood. This does not make any sense. How was the T-Virus leaked? And why did it contaminate both the lab and the mansion, as well as a train almost three miles away? <laughs> That's irrelevant. We must make sure no knowledge of this gets out. Destroy the train. Completely. How far away are you from the nearest branch line? About ten minutes to... Huh? What happened? Uh, that looks good. Poor guys. You notice that familiar face, right? Alright. The train line of derailer crash. I gotta stop this thing. Brake operation manual. Using the brake control, the following three steps are necessary to operate the brakes. Step one, activating the controls. Brake controls are located in the following locations. First driver's compartment, rear deck of the fifth car. To activate the system, you must insert the magnetic card into the device in the fifth car. This will supply power to both sets of controls. Step two, enter rear deck code. Enter the code for the rear deck unit to release the lock. After this, the driver's compartment code can be entered. Step 3. Enter driver's compartment code. Enter the code for the driver's compartment unit to remove the lock. Upon completion of these three steps, the manual brakes can be used. Who will stay behind? We're going to say Billy stays behind just because we get an extra scene 
if we send Rebecca. Um, I'll go over to the back deck and manipulate the control panel for the brakes. You stay here and apply the brake when ready. Okay. Rebecca! Huh? Don't screw up, okay? I won't. Now, theoretically, I have watched enough fuckers. Hell, you got fucking tons of room, sunshine. Uh, you know what? Here, yeah, you, 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 yeah, whatever. That's fine. Now, the many times when I was a kid and I ran away without picking up that card, <laughs> it's pretty funny. You run all the way to the back of the train, it's like, yeah, you you, you don't have the key card. They'll be like, fuck! And you run all the way back down to the front. Right. So I need to just um, try and remember what the codes were. Uh, I'm stuck on that zombie. Okay. That helps. But there's very, very set. Oh my god. Fucking up my alt control. I shouldn't be alt controlling, that's why. Ooh. Got me. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, this is really not good. I'm gonna have to take them all out, I think. Oh, shit. There's like 12 million of them. Oh my god. Not like I'm on a clock here or anything. No. No, 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 no. Oh. This is so bad. Here comes the extra scene I was talking about. Buddy. I've got plenty of time to do this, though. They're, they're very, very, very generous with the timer, so I ain't worried. But that's pretty funny, you know, walking into like four million zombies, like, ah! This is where you're glad you took out that zombie first. Sorry, I switched off there. Checking my microphone was okay. Right. Just, do I need to do everything for you, game? It all depends what the number is. 81, that's 8 and then a 9, I think? Yeah. Put the brake on now. Right, what well, one's this? 36. Ooh, that's the threes and then a nine. Ooh, that's the threes and then a nine. Ooh, that's the threes and then a nine. Yeah.
I crash. That's the first, I guess the first section Rebecca. of the game done. Rebecca. I'm here. Are you alright? Hey, we managed to stop the train. Yes, we managed. We have to find a way out. Hello, Rebecca. Uh, hang on, Rebecca. Rebecca. I was going to say, don't you dare waste a fucking shell from that shotgun. We're not really going to use that shotgun again, I don't think. Because, yeah, we get we get the real, quote-unquote, real shotgun soon, so. Uh, how is Billy for ammo? Oh, yeah, we're good. We're actually not in a bad position now. And now we're going to be entering the training facility. How exciting. That wasn't sarcasm, by the way. It's, I think it sounded like it was, but it wasn't. The Umbrella Research Center? General Manager, Dr. James Marcus. Hmm. Who on earth are those people? She's just a rookie, a member of STARS. Hmm. What about the male? I'm unfamiliar with Attention. him. Attention! Mm -hmm. This is Dr. Marcus. Please be silent as we reflect upon our company motto. Obedience breeds discipline. Discipline breeds unity. Unity breeds power. Power is life. <laughs> who are you? It was I who scattered the T-virus in the mansion. Needless to say, I contaminated the train, too. What? Revenge. On Umbrella. <laughs> Ten years ago, Dr. Marcus was murdered by Umbrella. You helped them, didn't you? <laughs> so yes, we now know that that figure on the train, the leech man, um, that Rebecca saw sitting at the table, is actually Dr. Marcus. It's a huge portrait of the first director of the facility, James Marcus. So yeah, one of the founding members of umbrella as far as i'm aware um came friends with spencer from you know the spencer mansion of the first game uh and they developed basically what would become the t-virus um that was them that i believe headhunted wesker and you can correct me if i'm wrong wesker and birkin i am um, to be there you know to 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 work there because they were basically prodigies uh So yeah, that's we we see our kind of first building blocks of what would become the umbrella we all know and hate. Uh, Rebecca already has a mixed one, but I don't think there's any reason for us right now not to mix a second because this game is is I've said this many times. This game is actually one of the more difficult Resident Evil games. Um. So yeah, let's let's progress. So this is the main hall. This is where I'm going to be leaving a lot of stuff, uh, probably for this portion of the game. Uh, it's like a nice little hub area. It's where the save is. I mean, I see where the save is. There's another save room right up the top of the stairs, but yeah. 
I believe the first place we want to go is through here, actually. Um, we'll get a proper shotgun. And a couple of starts to some puzzle items. Uh, I'm actually going to clear out as many rooms as I can right now. Just to make movement a little bit easier. For some reason, it should probably be Billy right now because I think there's a handgun ammo in here. And if you notice, I'm going to go back here and when I'm editing this, I'm going to try to remember to to zoom in on this. But I think it was, was it Eric that pointed out at one stage or someone pointed out at one stage that that little face you can see in the background behind that zombie that's sitting in Rebecca is kind of in the way. Um, people say that looks like me. Does that look like me? I just realized it zooms in anyway. I can't tell. I mean, it's got more hair than me, but you know what I mean, right? Right? Wrong? Who knows? Ah, this way. Switch to Rebecca, because I'm going to be picking up the shotgun. Oh yeah, I forgot the zombies in here. I think there's enemies in here later on, but... Pew, 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 pew. I love it. Uh, Billy, you can pick up the item for the... Uh, fuck, I can pick it up as... Rebecca and then we'll exchange it. We're going to dump it in the main hall anyway, up next to where we're going to be using it, so that's not a big deal. Hmm. Um... Belly! Belly! Oh yeah, Belly's gonna need that here. Here I come to save the day. Uh, ah, sit the fuck down, son. Uh, Belly, you go ahead and use... Oh, you're in danger! Shit! Okay. Wait, where Belly now? Ah, oh, I forgot I switched. I'm gonna use a green as that. There you go. And here we go. Uh, and yeah, I think this, yep, this is where we're going to save and end part two. And we'll take out uh, the puzzles and joys of the training facility next time. Thanks very much for watching, as always. Um, I really hope you've been enjoying these. Um, I'm going to do the entire series, at least up to Code Veronica. I will see about 4, 5, and 6 after that. But yeah, other than that, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.